Item number SCP-767 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-767-1 through SCP-767-13 are to be held within SCP-767-14, which shall be kept closed and locked at all times. SCP-767 is to be held in the Hazardous Items Secure Containment Center of Research Site. Access to SCP-767 requires written authorization of at least one Level 4 Site Administrator. Description SCP-767 is the designation of a series of objects which was recovered from Police Department on 19 SCP-767-1 through SCP-767-12 are a series of photographs taken with an instant camera on self-developing film that appear to be the source of the anomalous properties of SCP-767. The photographs are labeled 1 through 12 in the lower left corner. However, the numberings are in reverse order to the apparent chronology of events they depict. When viewed in reverse, or proper chronological order. Images 12 through 7 follow a first-person perspective of an individual entering a room and examining a single table. SCP-767-6 is a top-down view of the table, which in new iterations alternately reads, On the ceiling. Or, It's above you. Written in a red substance that has the appearance of fresh blood. SCP-767-5 and SCP-767-4 indicate a viewpoint of someone who is facing downwards as they are drawn into the air above the table, with small wisps of dark smoke or gas visible along the edges. SCP-767-3 through SCP-767-1 portray a corpse, initially intact, but with heavy lacerations, then data expunged. It is not known where these images were taken, or if this was indeed how they originally were taken. When brought to a new location and kept for at least one week, SCP-767-1 through SCP-767-12 will change to reflect a room within the structure. If a sufficient replacement is not present, a room designed and furnished in the general style of the structure in which SCP-767 is kept will appear within the photographs. The individual present in SCP-767-1 through SCP-767-3 takes the form of the last individual to suffer the effects caused by exposure. This self-adjusting property has been duplicated onto SCP-767-13 and SCP-767-14. SCP-767-13 is a police report written by the police department investigating the murder scene portrayed in the photographs. The address of this scene will adjust at the same time as the images to the address of the new location. The date at the top of the report is 19 two weeks before Foundation agents recovered SCP-767. SCP-767-14 is a brown leather valise, originally belonging to Officer When the rest of SCP-767 alters, the gold monogram plate between the valise's locks will adjust to the name of whoever owns, or currently is head of the new structure. It currently reads Dr. who is the site administrator for research site. Subjects exposed to the photographs within SCP-767 suffer a number of effects. While the most serious effect that occurs is based upon the highest number viewed, the time to onset of these effects is drastically reduced when viewing the photographs in numbered order up to that point. Confirmed effects are as follows. SCP-767-1 through SCP-767-3. No effects. Subjects normally not adverse to images of bodily mutilation describe the viewings as weird or disturbing beyond their normal sensations. SCP-767-4 through SCP-767-6. Within one day of viewing, subjects develop claustrophobic tendencies when in rooms with low ceilings. Roughly 50% of subjects also develop nyctophobia, fear of the dark, or more specifically, 
fear of potentially negative occurrences in the dark. Intensity of fears is directly related to the number viewed, with six being the strongest. SCP-7677 through SCP-7679 All subjects exposed to SCP-7677 thus far have revealed a sudden urge to examine the ceiling, usually snapping their heads upwards immediately, even if not exposed to the other photographs. Most have described it as instinctual, as if the warning had been yelled at them. The above listed phobias will become apparent within 6 to 12 hours, along with sensations of being watched and persistent chills, regardless of ambient temperatures. SCP-76710 through SCP-76712 Subjects who view these photographs suffer fear-induced paralysis, if attempting to move away or engage in any activity not involving observation of SCP-767. No more than five minutes later, a black, gaseous mass begins to form at the ceiling, described as smoky or shadowy, and designated SCP-76715. Video and photographic images do not record the appearance of this mass. If SCP-76715 forms outdoors, or in a room taller than 4 meters. It will form at approximately the 4 meter mark. Tendrils of the substance reach down to grip the affected subject and lift him or her into the air, at which point, data expunged until it appears as in SCP-7671. The nature of SCP-76715 is currently unknown. Researchers and security agents who have attempted to physically intervene are thrown away with great force, and physical attacks against the mass pass through without significantly altering the whole. Currently ongoing investigations have found additional cases of bodies discovered in the same condition as that caused by SCP-76715 over a course of one decade before Foundation agents became aware of the anomalous items and attributed to various other sources. Similar reported instances which occur are under investigation for potential connections. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-766, Human-Shaped Anomaly in Space, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.